Today we are going to discuss about tidal hypothesis. Tidal hypothesis was propounded by Sir James Jeans, who was a British scientist. It was propounded in 1919. This theory was later modified by Jeffrey in 1929. This theory was a dualistic concept because this theory ha- in this theory two things are utilized. Two heavenly bodies are mentioned. That is one primitive sun. The other one is intruding star, just like planetesimal theory where the primitive sun was called as proto sun it was it was different from the kant's theory on the laplace theory of nebula hypothesis the it, this theory was uh, it, it had self proved facts what were the facts were solar system originated from the sun and another intruding star in the beginning the sun was a big incandescent gaseous mass of matter this intruding star was bigger than the primitive sun this primitive sun was stationary and was rotating on its axis path of the intruding star was close to the primitive sun and impact of tidal force of intruding star on the surface of the primitive sun was very great so here they said that they said that the primitive sun was stationary but it was rotating on its axis but the intruding star was very big in size which is coming close to the primitive sun so due to uh, due to the tidal force and the gravitational force due to the um, because of the large size of the intruding star due to the gravitation force the uh, impact is happening on the primitive sun so what were the assumptions put forward by this tidal hypothesis the huge amount of matter was ejected from the primitive sun due to gravitational force of intruding star so due to this greater gravitational force the um, large matter was ejected from the primitive sun this matter became the building material for future planets so from the primitive sun a large matter is ejected this this matter it, it becomes the planet later newton's law of gravitation depends upon mass of the two bodies so newton's law of, do, newton's law of gravitation depends upon the mass and the distance so if the mass is great mass is high mass is high the gravitational impact also high so distance is less distance is less the gravitational impact will be also high here the intruding stars mass of the intruding star was more so the gravitational impact also was more the distance was less because it was coming close to the primitive sun the gravitational force impact also was very much so what evolution of filament in this theory they mentioned that a filament got evolved evolved during this process so a filament like this a cigar shaped filament formed this middle of the portion middle portion of the filament was slightly bulged when intruding star came close to the primitive sun due to rising the gravitational force giant cigar shaped tight thousands of kilometers in length was created on the surface of the primitive sun later it was ejected he called it as filament he is calling it as filament because it was in filament shape but it, it was in thousands of kilometers so it was looking like a filament uh, like cigar filament it was a it was a gradual process it didn't take take place suddenly because the primitive towards the primitive sun it was coming closer gradually so due to the impact these gravitational forces it, it had happened this filament formed later this filament started to revolve up initially so it was a stationary filament later it started revolving the primitive sun this filament is uh, revolving the primitive sun this theory had uh, so this led to formation of planets nine planets formed due to cooling and condensation of gaseous matter of the filament contracted so this uh, this cooling this cooling process makes the object to contract and these object broke into many pieces they formed into planets so these filaments what happened it was cooling and contracted and broke into broke into many pieces and they formed into many planets remaining part of this re, remaining part became primitive sun it was called as present day sun satellites also formed through repetition of the same process but the force was from the sun on planets so the primitive sun formed the primitive the planets which formed due to the due to the force of 
intruding star but there is a satellite form due to the force gravitational force from the sun itself so this theory had some evidences to support the shape and the ordering of planets the filament ejected from the primitive sun was cigar shaped it was thick in the middle portion and thin at the ends so as i mentioned it was thin at the ends thin at the ends it, it the middle portion was thick the middle portion was thick the ends were thin so the middle portion when we see here the planets like mars jupiter saturn these planets were large in size um, these planets were large in size but the end planets end planets were small in size these both the sides end planets were small in size so this supports this theory and the other ordering and arrangement of satellites so when we look at the arrangements of satellites uh, this according to this hypothesis bigger planets remained in gaseous form for longer time in the space because their cooling took longer time due to their large size smaller planets were cooled and condensed within very short period of time because of their small size large number of planets were formed from bigger planets so when we look at this when we look at these large planets they have many satellites they have many satellites whereas from uh, these large planets have many satellites but this smaller planets have very few number of satellites or lesser number of satellites so this also supports this theory and revolution of planets the rotation revolution and inclination inclination of the planets axis all this supports this theory planets of the solar system should also revolve around the sun so this filament was was revolving around the sun so that's why planets also is revolving around the sun in present day solar system all the planets are revolving around the sun in the same direction though their rotation is in different direction the revolution is in same direction same direction and the inclination also is but if you planets have slightly increased inclination but others will have a similar inclination so this theory this theory it was a modern theory later this theory was later this theory was modified by jeffrey modified by jeffrey in 1929 so a jeffrey mentions that there are three bo- three heavenly bodies acting three heavenly bodies acting on it three heavenly bodies acting on it whereas in tidal hypo james jeans refers to only two heavenly bodies here he mentions about two heavenly bodies sorry three heavenly bodies this is uh, just a modi uh, he presented in 1929 and presented his concept as collision hypothesis this concept was called as collision hypothesis collision hypothesis collision hypothesis so there were three stars in the universe before the origin of our solar system that's what he mentions one was our primitive sun one was primitive sun one was primitive sun another one was companion sun another one was companion sun the other one was intruding star intruding star other one was intruding star intruding star so he is mentioning these three act these three acts together and later the solar system formed that's what he says so this this is all about jeffrey's hypothesis which is halley collision hypothesis just it, it, it was a modified version where he uses three heavenly bodies instead two heavenly bodies of tidal hypothesis thank you